Hi. Hello. Hi. And welcome to another thrilling episode of Does It Suck? I'm Lance. I'm Nick. I'm Amber. And we're going to be your host through this harrowing tale of Henry Rollins and Black Flaggery. <laughs> in a in a movie that is technically a vampire movie. Technically. 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 Actually, it's just full on because she straight up says it. And he's like, no, yeah, that, 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 that's, the, that's, that's the technicality. That's the, te that's the technically. Just yeah. like uh, Ultraviolet, technically a vampire movie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a technicality. It's yes. very loose. but Or it could yeah. be a technical foul. Anyways. Yes. I'm going to fucking hit you later. <laughs> um... um so this, <laughs> oh God, you totally fucked me up. Um, this week, or this month, we've decided to do the movie He Never Died with Henry Rollins and Trevor, apparently, <laughs> from GTA Five. Yeah, I don't want to look up his thing because I don't want I don't want to look at IMDb. But, it's fucking. So I don't know. I don't know his name. But his name was from, Alex in the film. Yes. That's who he was. It's Trevor. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was my turn to pick, and mm -hmm. I was like, hey, I'll pick a movie that Amber's never seen and then we watched it and then at the end of the movie I looked back at Amber and she said I can't tell you anything it's not fair to Nick and I went ah okay and I was like well, I just wanted to pick something you've never seen before and Amber's like yeah I've totally seen this movie before and I was like <laughs> fuck <laughs> so fun story he watched it I know how he felt after he watched it the first time I also know how he felt as he goes hey Amber watch this scene hey Amber watch this scene hey Amber watch this scene so it's one of those movies where, I don't know, that might have been the first official time I sat okay. all the way through it, it but of, I've seen most of the movie. I don't remember so doing Was he just trying to sell it to you, essentially, or whatever? I, probably. Probably. The only time I've ever hit, like, like <laughs> I never know what she wants to watch, and I never know what she doesn't want to watch. And I had two hits back to back where it's like, I was like, hey, Dr. Hammer, Horrible. look, Dr. Horrible, it's a long blog. And she's like, oh my god, I love it. I was like, oh, I'm on cloud nine. And then I was like, hey guys, look, uh, there's this other movie called uh, Dale. And Tucker and Dale. Tucker and Dale versus evil and they were like oh my god i love this movie and i was like i'm rolling fucking high and then it's all been like uphill <laughs> after that but um i just yeah i try to sell certain things to her and she does the me and i'm just like well fuck i guess i'm watching this by myself so anyways um this is where the part where we're going to try and guess mm -hmm. uh on a scale of zero to ten yeah what each other thought of it and uh, we have our handy dandy little numbers of what we think everyone's going to guess. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to go into spoilers. With, with, I guess, small addendum, this is on Netflix. Yes. Um, if you have not seen it, it's pretty easy to track down and watch. And, I mean, I think it's worth a watch. I do too. It's it, it's unique enough. It's if you're if you're like vampire movies are interesting, but I want something different. We're all locked in. You could say whatever you want to say at this point. No, no, no. It's a movie. You might not be locked in yet. I'm locked in. I've got both of my numbers locked yeah, in. Yeah, I'm already. Yep. All right. I have, well, I so, know what I'm going to get. Yeah. So here we go. Mm -hmm. So let's start, Nick. Mm -hmm. On a scale from zero being the worst fucking movie of, amongst the worst movies and a 10 being really fucking good. I'll watch it again. Mm -hmm. What did you give it? Uh, I think I'm going to give this one an eight. An eight? Oh, wow. I'm way too okay. low. Yeah. I love, I love this movie. This okay. movie's great. I almost saw a pick seven, and I was like, no, no. But See, I've never seen it. There are plenty of moments in this movie when I'm watching it, I just laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that brings me joy. And yeah. I will kind of go into some of those later, I suppose. But I think they're pretty obvious. I think that the parts that are supposed to be kind of like shocking, and you're supposed to be like, oh, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. And, I, and I enjoy that. I'm right there with you. So how about it, Amber? On a scale from zero to ten, what did you give this movie? I would probably give it a strong six. Yeah, I went a little bit too high, especially after. Uh, I went low, so we shot around her. Especially after Dracula 2000, I'm like, oh, it's better than Dracula 2000, <laughs> but is it? No, um, I'll get into why. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. He'll he, one of his complaints was the fact, like when he was like, you know, I was like trying to figure out what I thought of it, and. Um, Mind you, last night I was in a lot of pain while we were watching the movie, mm. um, but I'd also seen it before, so I, I knew a lot of the major beats that okay. were coming, and, and so I, I didn't laugh. I didn't mm. make any comments. She didn't make any fucking noise <laughs> I was, whatsoever. I was quiet and I'm just mouth. like, I'm just watching it going, eh. <laughs> 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 uh, <it's good>. So... <laughs> So it, it, you know, I enjoy things, but there, the, there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's reasons I don't. It, sure, it's we'll, we'll get into that. So, Lance, what about you? I would give this movie a solid eight. Hey, mm -hmm. I at least got that one. We, we, we guessed that one. Apparently, I'm fucking predictable. 
Uh, well, well, again, um, after you watched it the first time several years ago, and you were like, oh, my God, this is such a great movie. I love Henry Rollins, and I loved, and you were pushing it on everybody. You're like, Tim, watch this. Nick, watch this. Amber, you need to watch these scenes. I knew you loved it. Um, so I, I, I felt like I had a very unfair advantage going into this, knowing how much you enjoyed this movie before you didn't know that I had already seen most of it. sat there like a fucking sucker the entire time. Like, man, I hope she's really enjoying this. It's like a spin on a fucking take. It's like a different take of vampire movies. And she likes things that are, you know, taken from a similar package and wrapped a different way. And I was like, oh, she's going to like this. And this part happens where, like, you know, he fucking gets the finger and, like, sucks all the fucking, you know, and, like, starts munching down on it. And I was like, eh. And I'm listening and it's just crickets. <laughs> fucking crickets. So... As mentioned before, spoilers. Spoilers. Um, it's on Netflix uh, with our recommendations. Take that what you will. And it's easy to track down. And I think it's at least worth a watch, even if it's not necessarily your thing. I think it's going to be more some people's things more than others. Yeah. Because it's definitely low budget. And they kind of cut around certain things that you might like, I really want to see this. We're like, well, they didn't have the budget for that, probably. So we kind of just see the aftermath. Yeah. And that's good enough. Hopefully, yeah. or yeah. or maybe it's to your not to your liking. Like I wanted to see all that shit. Yeah, and, they, like, and they cut around it. If you like sparkly vampires and oh, it's just a love story, this ain't this ain't your movie. Yeah. No. Uh, so you know, at this at the time of this recording, it is on Netflix. But Netflix is a fickle beast. It might yeah. be gone in a couple of weeks, couple of months. So get on it. Yeah. yeah. Tell all your friends. Tell like a thousand of your friends. To like and share and comment and subscribe and all that other this shit. This is even about He Never Died anymore. This is about us. Yeah, this Apparently. is totally about us. Uh, he, he never got over 100 views on a video. <laughs> and we'd like to break that. All right, so, mm -hmm. spoilers, here yeah. we go. So, Nick, why don't you get this train rolling? Um, so, I think there's plenty of points in this movie that are just kind of fun. And I like it that it's cynical. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of cynical. Yeah. I'm a lot cynical. You're very cynical. <laughs> um... So when it's just kind of like, what would you do with immortality? And it's just kind of like, oh, what'd you do last week? I mean, I slept. <laughs> it's like, get up, gets up, watches TV for a little bit, goes to like, gets bingo. his blood, comes home, sleeps. It's like, what day is it? You know, it's bingo. And then he goes and gets two cards. It's like, I just want to keep track of two cards. Yeah, and he's just, you yeah, know, whatever. And then there's just all the bad shit that happens to him. And it's just kind of I'm like, oh, you guys done fucked up. And that, that's, the, that's the fun part for me. It's just kind of like when they're in the diner or whatever, mm. and he like goes to the bathroom. The guy follows him in. He comes back out alone, and the other people are like, "What the fuck?" So he walks up and just point blank shoots him in the head, and then he just stands up angry. I'm like, "Oh, you done fucked up." <laughs> well, the thing I loved about that is the guy that had the eye patch. Mm -hmm. Like he he takes him out the first time, yep. and then he takes him out the second time. And then when that guy walked up and shot him at the end of the movie in the head, mm -hmm. and he's like, I fucking told y'all. Say I fucking told y'all. <laughs> like, he, he told that. He's like, he's a fucking monster. He's some kind of, like, because that dude was like, I, Leave I done told you. I done told you. And I loved that part. I yeah. think he was my favorite part of the movie. The, the, the eye patch the, guy. He was, yeah. he was fun. I liked him because I also liked that he was smart enough to realize that, um, that Jack was, was just like, if he, if you gave him no reason to have beef with you, he wasn't going to hurt you. So he did everything that Jack said, and he got to live. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and it's like, are you going to kill me? It's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that, that I don't, I don't want, I don't plan to. Yeah. But yeah, that whole scene in the bathtub where he was like, "What? what does he have her? Yeah, he has her." Yep. And when they got, where is she alive? Last I knew, man. <laughs> you know, like, it's like he, we're, we're we're hired out contractors, man. I don't know. Yeah, he gave up everything, and then he was like, "All right." He well. obviously didn't go to the next school interrogation. Not at all. Not at all. He went to the Lance somewhat sensible school of ter interrogation. Um, fuck, I said lie. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. And she said yours. Ah! Do you right. want to Maybe we that? Can, nah, we can That's bleep fine. it out. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, it was it was I think what I loved best about it is every time he sat down, like when he was sleeping, you could hear the horrors going through his head. Mm -hmm. And then when he'd sit down and watch TV, you could hear him constantly having these All horrors right. in the back of his head. And he's just trying to focus on different things just to like try and drown out all the fucking terrible throughout the fucking millennia. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, I thought that was a really good touch. I also loved that they didn't try to make him like a character that people were like, oh, I love him. He was just a fucking twat, like, the entire time. He was just emotionally detached, did not care what happened to human race. This is your daughter. 
don't give a shit. Yeah. I love the part where the woman called him the first time and she's like, uh, she came to visit you and you did something wrong. I didn't do anything. I opened the door. She ran off. Okay. Well, and he's like, I remember hating you. Yes. <laughs> and she, like, who is that? Yeah. Like, oh, I hate you. Yeah. I remember, I, that. I remember hating you. Don't call back. And she was like, wait, go get her. And he's like, ah, okay, fine. Um, but yeah, I loved his character, how like disconnected from the human mm -hmm. race he was. Um, and they never changed that. They never tried to make him sympathetic. They never tried to make him have like a conscience. At just at one point, he was like, "I have to at least try." Mm -hmm. You know, I have to at least try and save this girl. And he, even then, it was kind of haphazard the way he did it because he just basically stormed through. I, I know I can't die. Mm -hmm. I know y'all can't hurt me, so I'm just going to storm the fuck through and see what happens. And just, it's a very enjoyable flick. I, I do, I do like this one. I mean. I don't know that it's, I guess it's not necessarily unique at this point in time, because they did Dracula 2000, which was kind of the, the similar thing, but like with the last scene or whatever, where he's like, he sees, I assume, the devil? See, that was or, that. Or is, it, or is it meant to be God? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, See, that's, don't know. That, that's the ambiguous part to me, because it's like, the way that Jack spoke to that man made it seem like he was yelling at God. Yeah. But when the guy talks to um, Alex. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's the devil. Yes. And I that was one of the parts where it's like I wasn't sure what they were going for. It, I, it was not clear to me. Well, I, I'm also unfamiliar with Christian mythology. I don't know what happened to Cain. So, um, there's there's different... Translations. Or I mean, translations I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily very adept at the full, actual religious readout of Cain and Abel's story, but um, the versions of it that I am familiar with as they've been interpreted, this is not the first version of Cain, story mm -hmm. of Cain being turned into some sort of supernatural and or yeah. demonic beast. Yeah, that's cursed, um, cursed to walk earth forever. Um, supernatural did it. So, mm -hmm. um, so at the end of the movie, whenever he starts, when he confronts the mysterious man, mm -hmm. he says... Um, you know, this, this guy deserved to die. The world's a better place without him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, uh, he says, was it evil? And he's like, there's no God. He yells at him, there's no God. So yeah. he can't look at the guy and say, there's no God. It was my interpretation that it was either the devil, but that would suggest that if there's no God, there's no devil. And then the other thing I thought was it was just possibly death. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it, it could have been, could be, yeah. but but I felt it was a his rant was a rant at God. Yeah. You can be angry and tell God to His face, especially if you right. aren't ever going to die, and God's the only one who could have grant you death. That there's no God. Yeah, you, you're, you, you're telling him he's not who he claims to be. Around. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, um, and his rant was just so specific about why why him? Why does he get to live? You know, why are you sparing him when he wasn't spared? When he's this yeah. guy's done so many evil yeah. things and, and that made me feel like it's a rant at God that that was a God entity. Whereas when when it then is talking to Alex, it sounds like the devil. It, it's it feels like the devil. It, it's, his presentation it, just kind of speaks devil to me. As yeah. Well. But but going back to what I was trying to say, um, the, my interpretation with, with what I know of Cain and Abel is that typically um, the mark of the beast, the 666, all of that is normally um, that Cain um, lied with Lilith. Um, my understanding is he gets together with Lilith, which was Adam's and first wife. First wife and birth like monsters or something like that. And, and that, that they are, that he... There's there's no clear indication of what happened necessarily in my understanding <coughs> to Cain, but typically he is often seen to be like lost and set to wander the earth, like to repent for his sins because mm -hmm. he is where where the original sin is taking the the um the murder was his, he the first murder he's the supposedly. first murder he is the what birthed mm -hmm. a lot of evil yeah. basically into the world in the christian mythos and that even kind of came up in this little rant like yeah. would murder really not exist if i didn't do it yeah um so you know i i've seen i've seen variations of the cain and abel story in mm -hmm. in that regard like i said supernatural did it <laughs> yeah supernatural did a lot in their 20 years basically uh yeah and I, I think it's kind of an... And they were very heavy on the religious. Yeah. I think it's an interesting interpretation. It that is. Like, that it like, is. There's not... He probably is the reason vampire stories yeah. exist. It was kind of hinted that he was yeah. um, Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. Or at least... I put a bunch it. of people on spikes and you didn't... Yeah. yeah. I mean, 
it was very apparent at the beginning of the film that that he was going that even if I didn't have familiarity with it, that mm-hmm. it was going to have a religious spin. He had basically what appeared to be like yeah, two like two scars uh, on his back, scars on his back from where wings were likely removed. It made mm-hmm. it seem like he at least at one point maybe was even the angel of death for for whatever entity. And yeah. when he found out that the girl was his daughter, that's part in the scene. He was looking diner, for wings, where he was leaning back, like looking to see if there were wings, yeah, or if like had they been removed or something. But I think if you you had wings, they'd be pretty goddamn obvious, right? I think he was looking for scars. He, I think, yeah, I think, I think he was looking to see if if because it would it would lead it it made me feel like in the moment that Jillian uh, Andrea's mom mm-hmm. likely knew more about his background than 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 not. Yeah. I imagine a similar um, event unfurling, like Car. Like what's her name, Cara? Where you know the waitress. Yeah, yeah. Where, where you meet you meet him and he seems okay, and then you're like, oh wait, there's a bunch of shit going on here. Yeah. And it seems like he has. I think we've met him during a point in time in which he's trying to stay sober, mm-hmm. and you can kind of see like during the course of this movie he relapses back into his old ways because yeah. it kind of seems like he goes through waves of being fucking awful as shit versus trying to like keep on the straight and narrow, and then something happening. So like this point in time, like when he starts getting wounded, it seems like he needs he needs sustenance. Whereas like when he's on the straight and arrow, he can probably like not, go a couple days, and not not have to eat people, and can just substa- subsist on like the blood. Yeah, and it seems like he can eat. Yeah, it's just like but he has to avoid meat. Yeah, when he's Cause when it, he because that's the part the part that'll get him the the, the blood yeah. the taste of the blood because you notice the first time he orders meat, it's steak rare. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't like drink. There's even the scene when he walks into the bar and is looking at the beer. So it seems like he's trying to abstain from, like, vice, as it were, because he mm-hmm. knows where that leads him. Yeah. So, I mean, and for me, like, the two main things that kind of brought the score down for me was, one, the pacing for an hour and 37-minute film, it felt long to me. Mm-hmm. It, it, it felt like the pacing was just not quite there. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I just... There's just something about his character is just not charming, is what it is. Like there's there's no where where other people are saying flowery things and like building to the okay, drama I, and tension of the movie. His character is just like bingo, and then it's like a ten minute scene of him just going. But I, I I I enjoyed those bits because it's uh, him playing off his daughter, which was fun. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. those were fun. It's just I don't know. It's just for me, mm-hmm. there was a lot of other than the pacing. It's just it's it's a little weird. I think it it's. It's. I knew this was being a vampire was supposed to be a vampire movie because it was selected for the vampire movie series. Yeah. And the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, well, I guess technically the stuff with the blood and whatnot. Technically, it's a vampire movie. It. I, I think the going in with like I didn't recognize the name of the movie, but when mm-hmm. it started, I remembered a lot about it. But then I'm like, this was a vampire movie, and so I had this expectation of vampire movie mm-hmm. against this movie, and it jarred. Yeah, it definitely. So that different. actually took away from me from from it because I'm like, so like like it was at the end of the movie when she's like, so you're a vamp, and it's like, no, we're not saying that. Let's word. not talk it's, about it. Yeah, and he's like, well, aren't you supposed to have the teeth? Like, why would I need teeth? You know, um, so it. it it created an unbiased expectation of a vampire, and I did. It did not deliver in the way that I expected. Not to say it was bad. Mm. So in the future, should I be like Amber? We got some time. Let's just watch a movie, and then you'll watch a movie, and, and then like, and then Nick will come over one weekend, and we'll start setting the camera. And I'll be like, "Gotcha, bitch! Come over here and record this shit." <laughs> no, I mean it's just, it was just in in the in the spirit of this movie. It was like yeah. it's not readily apparent necessarily a vampire movie until that line where they're like, "Oh, you're calling him that." There's enough to mm-hmm. say you can technically call him that, but. It's more of a story about a lost soul than it is about a vampire, yeah, in my and opinion. A kind, of, kind of what, like, forever would do to you. Yeah. And, and, and you can, you know, so it's just, it, it's not a classical vampire movie. Mm. And I'm sure when we get to the checklist, that'll be verified. Yeah, there's two, yeah. maybe? Maybe two. Yeah. Um, it, it, that, then again, that's not to say it's bad movie. No, no. I enjoyed it. Will I that's, go out and watch it immediately? Well, probably not. But it's also, you know, it's mostly gore. It's good gore, though. It, it's I don't know. Some of it's funny. I like that they tied him to the thing. He was 
They poisoned him, and it took him a long fucking time to die. They brought him to the box, or brought him to the docks, had him tied up, and like as he, they were throwing him over, he pulls the dude down in, like, um, and they're just kind of saying, like, what <laughs> they the went, fuck? That one dude said, that just fucking happened. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Uh, and then great. he crawls out himself and pulls the guy's throat out and just kind of like starts chowing down. I'm like, this is, it's funny. Yeah. I don't know if they're going, if that's what they're going for, but it's funny to me. Yeah. It, it's shocking, but at the same time. Like, I must not have been in my right mind for dark humor, because I normally mm. enjoy dark humor like well, that. I had a feeling you were confused, because the only thing I was thinking at the beginning of the movie is that, you know, vampire movie, he Walk, gets up, what, what he walks system? outside in the daytime, and she's probably thinking, what the fuck? I'm, I thought this was a vampire movie. And then he walks right into a church, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, you were thinking, like, okay, what the fuck is he making that, me watch? That, that, that did go through my mind, because I'm like, okay, this is a vampire movie. No daylight weakness, no holy weakness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, it's not that it's bad. And again, I've seen many varied, many varied versions of vampires, many mm -hmm. varied versions of religious figures and how they would relate to supernatural settings. So that's not a knock against it. It's just maybe, maybe this movie wasn't 100% for me. Yeah, and I mean, that's also one of the things I think is fun about this whole series we're doing is to explore, like, what is a vampire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apparently, in our li our little list that we've we've made is not necessarily what makes a good vampire movie. It's just what you walk what, into, what, what you tropes? walk into Those a movie. You, you, when you like someone says vampire movie, here's some things you might expect. Yeah, and is that I don't know is that a good thing or a bad thing that you like go into this movie being like there's no there are two checks on this mar on this list or whatever mm -hmm. that's doesn't really matter. Well, it's like people crave you giving them you know the unexpected and they mm -hmm. want you to fucking like. What's the what's the term everyone's using now? Subvert um, your expectations. Subvert, yeah. subvert the expectations. And I think this movie did a good job of it because yeah. I think anybody walking into this basically started it and they were like, okay, he's a badass. And they're like, okay, he's a monster. And then they, at the end of the movie, they're like vampire. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I guess we're watching a vampire movie. Because like when, I, you think, when, when you think vampire, you think suck the blood. You think Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Not eat the finger, yeah, the eat the Trans throat. Tr Transylvania. I've yeah. seen <clears throat> similar stuff like that in other vampire films. It's not the, it, it's not the, the eating of the actual flesh yeah, wasn't 100% the, you mm -hmm. know. I think in was it 30 Days a Night, I think they like really like eat. Yeah. Away at people you know? in, in addition to eating the blood. And, and yeah. I will say like every time he was fighting his beast. Mm -hmm. Which is how I would like he would do that weird mouth movement. Uh, yeah. that, that he was fighting his internal beast. Yeah, I like that. I mm -hmm. thought that I thought that was nice because mm -hmm. you you he, you're showing that there's an internal struggle mm -hmm. without without having to like do severe you know cosmetic, cosmetic CG shit. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. you're you're showing it. You know, you can just use base CG and maybe just like maybe darken in the eyes yeah. and the mouth to make it just look a little bit darker. I mean, that's and you can, all you need. You can just see like the, I don't know, like the relapse, like drug addict sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, this, when this he, movie when he, is when very he, like, much analogy to like a drug addict. Yeah, it's so like him, dro him dropping the blood on the floor could be someone else dropping the booze on the floor where they like, I get the sponge and they start soaking it up so they can squeeze it into a cup just to like sate their, sate their, uh, their addiction. We're Here comes our addiction. Meow, meow, meow. Come, give us clicks. Give us clicks. She doesn't work. It hasn't worked yet. No. Look, look internet, it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think one of my favorite lines of this entire movie is when they called him and said, basically, come to the docks or we're going to kill your daughter. And then as the guy's hanging up the phone, he's like, can I kill this bitch yet? And then like the guy just kind of looks at the time and then goes back to sleep. Yeah. And then he wakes up the next day, and as he's walking Kara home, he she goes, "Where's your daughter?" And he goes, "I think she's with her mom by now," because he knew the mom was dead. Yeah, and I think she's. I, that she's, was a she's, good line. She's probably with her mom by now. Like I, that part made me laugh because <laughs> everyone watching this movie is probably waiting for him to like get a conscience and to, be the to, good to, guy to be like, "Oh, I really do love this daughter I never knew about," yeah. Which, and it never happens. It, it never happens. I think at the end, it's just kind of like you're fucking with everything I feel to, to like get, to get at me and that's not I feel like you know mm. and then again the reason why I almost feel like the the guy that they kept seeing was really God even though it seemed like the devil mm -hmm. and mm. is that um as soon as he disappeared from the scene that's when Kara came in it was the emergency to make him leave mm. as if she was sent there by a higher power to be like 
you need to leave, you need to help me take care of this. So, you know, it wasn't necessarily like he had a change of mind or a conscience, it's he had an obligation. Mm. And he needed, you know, he was a man who would take care of his obligations. If he felt responsible, he took care of it. Mm. Well, but that didn't necessarily, he wasn't necessarily doing it out of love or gratitude or kindness. He's doing it out of, I feel obliged to do it because that's, that's just the kind of person he was. Even like when, when he got the call and I think at that point in time he'd relapsed too or whatever. So his kind of shits had gone even further down. Yeah. When it's like, uh, kind of like we got your daughter and he's kind of like, uh, I'm dealing with his other shit. Meh. Like when he's walking around the streets, walking up to people and be like, dropping money. So that if they steal the money from him, now now they're okay, yeah. now they're okay I, to kill. I, I did love that whole scene. That whole scene where yeah, he's walking he's, he's around trying, like he's, trying, he's to trying to pick fights to get yeah, a he, reason to kill people. It's like he bumps into the dude and he like turns around and he's like, sorry, man. Yeah, like, and my he's, fault. Like, he's, like, mm. he's like, what the hell? You you know, the guy first gives him back like $100 and he's like, shouldn't carry around that kind of cash, sir. Mm-hmm. Or, or, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll watch where I'm going. And he's yeah. like, you know, he's like, he was clearly picking out people. Through, yeah, he, went, he was stereotyping people he was seeing on the street, expecting them to have gang, yeah, ghoulish, went, went gang-like bad, behavior, and they were all these nice guys. Yeah, went to a bad neighborhood at night, and just kind of going up to people at like, I don't know, like one o'clock in the morning. You expect them to be like assholes, yeah. just so that. And then you it can, was just it was, like, it was just you can, the, you can like do you imagine you're doing a service by killing? It was just people. the uh, young chads. Yeah, just, just out at night. Well, yeah, I just, yeah. the other part I liked was when the crime boss says. Uh, is there anything I could say <clears throat> to keep you from killing me kind of a thing? And he looked at him and said, I, I killed a nine-year-old without, I killed a nine-year-old without cause. Yeah. What what chance do you think you have? That's, um, I was looking kind of like when he goes in and is dealing with the, with the daughter and kind of comes back out and he's on the ground crawling away. She's like, I don't want you to go anywhere. She just picks up his leg and just like twists it. I'm like, there we go. That should stop you from walking away. Yeah. 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 It's just, there's so much I don't give a shit in this movie that is, is amusing to me. Yeah. The other, that, uh, that I don't. It's technically a vampire movie. I, I I don't watch movie. this as a vampire movie. I enjoy this as just kind of a. I don't know if you were like Superman for like a thousand years. What is what is Superman like in a thousand years? Is he still? Yeah. Is he still that, or is he cynical at this point? In time? Uh, it's, I mean, Superman's a bad example because you know, but still, uh, just kind of like you've got like all the power plus all the time. Yeah. What does that do to you? Yeah, it, and you're always going to stay young where everyone else grows old and dies. But I mean, I, I imagine after generation upon generation upon generation of people who you love, mm-hmm. you know, because I don't think his ability to love and like were it's taken not, away from it's him. It's not God. He was just given eternal life. It's just, you get over that shit. Yeah. yeah, so it's like him seeing generation after generation of people he loved and lost. You, you stop caring he, after you lose so many people. When he tried to do the right thing by fighting in World War One for the right side and everything like that, like all the stuff, eventually all of it just loses its flavor because it all boils away to nothing mm-hmm. um but i think my my favorite part about his character was he just didn't give a fuck about anything mm-hmm. and he because he knows the story where the guy was like hey man um i'm gonna be graduating and uh, you know i'm, I'm gonna be moving on uh, so i won't be able to do this anymore and he's like i'll find another intern and mm-hmm. he's like you find another intern how and he's like P- people like money yeah just just that flat and he was like yeah i guess it worked on me yeah. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. um just and then he gets pulled into that guy's shit, and oh, yeah. he didn't even really want to be pulled into it. That's like the guys open the door and he's like, "Do you know Jimmy?" Just closes the door in the face, and when they kick mm-hmm. in the door and hold the gun up to his face, he just slaps it out of their hand. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and that should have been enough to tell you, "Don't fuck with this guy." <laughs> um, but they still kept going. The dude that got his throat well, ripped out was the dumbest motherfucker in the world. <laughs> to be fair, it it seems like they intentionally targeted Jimmy in a way, like it. it it seemed like there was a long game being played by Alex which to could, get back at could, Jimmy. Which could be. The way that Alex explained it, it seemed like they intentionally kind of went after Jimmy yeah. to like, hey, to we... to pull him in because we because went... they wanted to apply pressure to him because he killed his, Alex's dad. Yeah, say, hey, we went after the guy that's supplying your blood. Doesn't that make you angry? It's like, no, not really. Yeah, it's he'll get someone else. Yeah, so I, the there, old... it was all. I think Alex was trying to play a game to get to him, and they lucked into the daughter, but didn't realize that that wasn't the leverage that they thought it was. Even though it did get him there, it didn't get them there in a way where he was like anxious or scared for her life. If he got there and she was dead, they were all going to die the same as if he she was alive. He was he was there to to say don't mess with me, not to well, don't mess with her. Do you, do you think that might have been the catalyst that made them find Jack again, maybe? Because all this shit happens, and then they go back to their guy and saying, like, hey, this guy 
is super strong. And then that gets back to Alex and they're like, oh, he's still here. And that could have been it. Nice that could have been it. But it felt like the when he was explaining it, it, it seemed like he that this was all a long game mm. to get at Jack. Um, going back to whether or not the guy at the end is God or not, is there is it possible that they're doing um, the God and the devil are one and the same? I don't know. Don't he know. seemed singular in that. It's almost like Ka- Cain yes. was living just a normal human life. He killed his brother Abel, and then it's just this curse was bestowed upon him. Whether he knows if there's anybody else that's afflicted like him or not, who knows? But it also suggests that there are angels because it looked like wings were cut from yeah. his back. So, And only certain people could see God or devil or whomever that was because yeah, the daughter, could, the see daughter could see him yeah. but not anybody else until the very end when alex could see him yeah. but would that perhaps you know there's mm. there's all sorts of implications that aren't ever answered it's yeah. who is that man is it really god is it the devil is is alex not about to be killed you know because was it going to be a dogma thing where hearing the voice of god shatters your brain and it explodes your head um, or is it going to be more of a thing of, you know, you're hearing the voice of God or the voice of the devil and you're being put under a curse or you're going to be mm-hmm. swayed or are you at your moment of death? There's so many questions that, and it ends like that. And that a little bit annoyed me because it's it like, just, it just ends. It just ends. So with, just the, ends. with the questions you asked, let's analyze it. So Cain kills Abel, which is supposed to be the first murder first murder so it's like basically one of the greatest, like sins. One of the greatest sins it's the creation of like most evil so to me because he was drinking a shot that was on fire he put it out with his hand I, I, the I heavy it's... voice the fact that he was there to collect alex when alex died i mean i think that suggests that he's the devil he's he seen that, that's the way i've inter- interpreted it is that he, he seems like he's a devil so and, and but who knows? Like that, in this world, them, them being the devil and God being the same person. I mean, that could be, that could be the see, same too. That's what I was thinking. Is that this movie so ambiguous? It plays fast and loose with like the rules of like religion or whatever. Like you know, um, who who knows that if this one entity is in fact viewed as the devil and God, we will never know because they'll I mean, never make can, another movie. You can also you also could have this whole this whole. There's a sequel. There's a sequel. Yeah. There's, but she never died. Yeah. Which I'll, what we can talk. Is about it about right? his daughter? But there's this whole, you know, there's also the whole um, discussion that you could make if you really want to get into, like, deep religious talk of mm-hmm. whether or not um, there, there are people who make arguments based off of the way that um, religion in today's world is viewed, of whether or not God is truly God, or if it is, if you were going to take a literal interpretation of Christianity, um, whether or not God is truly God now or is the God that we see in organized religions now truly the devil and that God is no longer, mm. you know, because the way that, that a lot of religions being subverted and whatnot, you, there are people who have, have made that kind of claims. Where, it's a strong argument. This is, you know, so you see God. The devil's, al- the, the devil's always the last person you suspect. God. I, I, that's that's I don't know. It, it's I mean, but then you're, you're you're getting into some like very deep theological discussions there, and I am not the right person for yeah, that. I'm, I am a wonderful either. atheist. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not versed in this particular stuff. I have studied a lot of religions, but I'm not deeply studied. You in get religion. me smoking about a half ounce of weed, and get me in a chatty mood. I'll talk you off all fucking. I night will say, that. if we ever did want to have like a long discourse on theology. Tim would be a great person to bring on because Tim is mm-hmm. Tim Tim is probably the most well studied mm-hmm. in religion documents. Yeah. I would say he's probably more studied than I am. And I only am as studied as I am because I've taken um, a world history class in college that made me read books on Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. And I've also taken religious traditions of China and Japan. So I've studied a lot of the world religions through uh, just academic lenses mm-hmm. which i think helps you understand them a little bit in a more clinical sense because religion is a deeply personal and profound thing for most people yeah. which i support but i also support the academic study of them because there is a room for both yeah if there is a god what we're representing as religion on this planet 
It's probably not what he had in mind. <laughs> let's, because, let's not make any bold hey, statements. I don't think it's a bold statement to say that basically most of the people on the planet right now are basically just doing it to like basically line their pockets. Everyone fucking loves money. Everyone's looking for a way to get in your wallet. I believe that's a lot of that going on right now. Now, there's probably some people out there that true in their heart are trying to bring the Lord Jesus Christ or Allah or whoever else to you. And their message probably falls short because everything that's created by humans with good intent Usually gets fucked up somewhere along the line. So, um, but we're not talking about religion. We're no. talking about he never died. Yeah. But there is a lot of religious. Yeah. yeah this movie definitely brings. Yeah. And again, bring up that discussion. The, 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 mm -hmm. it's just this was all kind of riffing on on yeah, yeah. the fact that I feel like you could make solid arguments for either case mm -hmm. um, on who that guy is because he clearly gives a very. Um, oh God, was uh, Santeria? Is that the Mexican death cults? Mm. Santeria. Mm -hmm. He gives off a very strong vibe of the mm. Santeria kind of um, death cults from uh, Mexico. I, and I apologize if I got that kind of wrong. I don't. I do. Is it Cuban? No, it's 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 Hispanic. It's oh. it's in the Latin America community. I don't but, practice Santeria. I ain't but, got but no I, crystal ball. You just drink sangria. But I do, I do believe that Santeria is the um, the ones that like. Like, they put up the shrines, and it's normally kind of got some spiritual and, like, death elements to it. And a picture of Heisenberg. Could. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he, he gave some strong vibes of that in the way that they dressed him, which, again, maybe he was just supposed to be the angel of death. Yeah. Right? Which would make almost the most sense yeah, in, in a way. Saying, like, let me die. I mean, he, there, there's a bunch of people you could be saying that to. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it was just another angel that was basically sent to keep an eye angel on him. Like yeah. yeah, like his fucking, what was it, what it's called, um, parole warden? Mm. Or, yeah, parole officer. Just comes in to uh, check up on him. Yeah, just like, watch him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Constantly good. fucking watching you. Here's drinking um, some tea today. That's pretty cool. I ate five guys today. Mm. That's a sin. Gluttony. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's more of not five guys at the burger place, five guys of the people. <laughs> yeah, I know. But if you eat all the oh. fries, that's straight up gluttony because there's too many fucking fries in that if, bag. It, how about you eat five guys at five guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they've already eaten all their oh. five guys and all the, and they, they already ate all the fries and then you eat them. So it's then tough. it's like, so then are, are, you know, then you have to make the, uh, you have to make the argument on whether or not eating of their flesh would then impart their gluttony on you and like if like you know if you're like got like that fat kind of sluggish high that you kind of get sometimes <laughs> off of eating all that greasy food if if would the vampire in this instance then get that same kind of like proxy because they had that so now you have it it's maybe like just when their hands are greasy from the fries you would just eat their fingers like that. Oh, yeah. I'm going deep into something that was just like a <laughs> random fucking throw to. Yeah. Wow. Now we want to do traditions. Sure. Yes. I think this will go quick. Blood dependency. Yes. He's at least got a flesh con of dependency. Uh, did, so blood. I, I, think think it, I think I think it's it, marrow. I think it might have been blood too because like when he was drinking the blood out of the bag whenever he was like licking out the floor he's like nope and then that's when he like had to sop it up put it in the cup and it still wasn't fucking doing it. <laughs> so who knows maybe Blood would sate you, but eating the flesh, maybe, because it seemed like he was also eating the flesh when he had fucking damage. So I felt like he could sustain himself off of just blood when he wasn't relapsed, wasn't right. injured. Injured, yeah. When he was injured and he, needing, he, he, he it, it forced his body because his body basically needed to consume flesh in order to repair itself. No. And he healed super fast. But he needed to consume flesh like a zombie. Yeah. I still say yes on that. I one. I think yes, but it goes more than just a. I think. Yeah. The, I think it's the, more than blood. I think the blood helps, but by, he needs more. By the, the strictest blood. margins of the question, I still think it's yes. He is dependent on the blood. Yeah, and but so he, much but, more. But and, I, and I wonder more. if he becomes like ghoulish and like a zombie if he refuses to even get Maybe. blood. Maybe he's, like I feel like imbibing and consuming like he it's like he's not generating his own blood anymore, mm -hmm. so he's having to consume the blood of others to like. I wonder like if, insert those red blood cells. I wonder if in plasma. this world like uh, stories of ghouls or whatever, all that is him. It's him emaciated. Stories of like Frankenstein was him on a fucking like mindless bender through fucking towns. Mm. The yeah, no, that's and see, I was thinking of that too earlier. It was like if anything 
in the world, like if he's the only thing like him in the world all through time, stories get passed down of like you, things yeah. that can't be explained. So maybe it was him in different situations where, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe who knows? He, maybe he was on a boat and he ate all the people and it sailed into port. And that started, <laughs> that started a story of like... That launched another movie that we reviewed. Um, so Immortality. Yes. yes. Uh, physical Prowess. Yes. yes. Uh, magical Prowess. No. Uh, magical Blood. No. no. Nigh Unkillable. Yes. Yes. Um, shapeshifting. No. no. Distinctive appearance. No. Coffin dependency. No. no. Monstrous predatory. No, not really. I mean, he wasn't. He he was probably predatory at some point in time, but not. I the think way this the movie. only time that you feel like he's predatory was when he was intentionally seeking out victims. So mm-hmm. you could make that argument, but he tried not to be until he was put in a position where he was relapsing. <laughs> he stared at a guy and said, "I'm going to eat you." They're not going to find you. I'm going to eat you. Like, I'm going to eat it's, all of you. It's like, I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to eat you. Yeah. I just want you to know before you die, I'm going to eat you. So, uh, I don't know. I guess... Yes and no. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, kind of. But not... Yeah, yeah. Um, tragic figure. I guess so. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Randy. No. Uh, it's the opposite. Hierarchy. He has a kid. He was Randy at one time. No. And he's got the girl to prove it. All right, sorry. Um, hierarchy. No. No. Sunlight weakness. No. Whole light weakness. No. Or holy weakness. No. Uh, Forbiddens. No. Water weakness. No. Silver weakness. No. Garlic weakness. No. There's more than I thought. So I guess we could give, like, tragic figure, monstrous predatory, like a little bit, nine killable, because we have nine killable and immortality separate. Yeah. Because one refers to living forever, one mm-hmm. refers to being hard to actually kill. kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then blood dependency. So I mean, five and nineteen. Yeah. Or four and a half and nineteen, whatever you want to call it. I thought it. we hit six. And we hit six. Uh, blood dependency, mortality, physical prowess, nine killable, uh, tragic fear. Okay, we're, we're at like five and a half, six. Okay. I, I, I missed um, physical prowess. Yeah, that works. So right. it's kind of there, but you'd hit several of these watching a superhero movie too, I think. Yeah. All right. The Hulk. Like a, like a lot of that's the Hulk, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it's time to play everyone's favorite game. What did the internet think? That's a good question. I'm what did the internet? We starting with IMDb. Uh-huh. We starting with IMDb. We're gonna start. I with, wonder. We're gonna start with the IMD and the B. So, I'm thinking like seven something. Seven five. Uh-huh. Seven five. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Hot dog. I will go with uh, seven two. Seven five and seven two. Six point three. So, all right, closer to my score. Okay. All right. Uh, how about on Rotten Tomatoes? Tomatoes. What did the critics give this movie? Uh, sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Fifty-three. All right. So I would like to say, don't let IMDb influence you. Yep. That's, I'm, I'm thinking it's a, it's a thinker movie, so I think they'd like it a little bit more. So you said. I'm thinking that it's a gory movie. With that, that, that. So I think it's an it's an independent, low budget movie that makes you like think about religion. I think people can be like, oh yeah, this is this is a thinker. But you're still gonna have like people who are like, oh my god, they ate a throat. So I'm sixty eight. I'm gonna give it a fifty three. All right, uh, eighty eight. You are very much more correct. Eighty eight percent. All right, guys, what did the audience give this movie? We're usually closer to IMDb. Sixty eight. Uh, then I'm gonna give seventy three. Sixty five. Hey, I always get that one. So, yeah, um, a lot of this was in the opposite directions of what I thought it would be. Again, I think the critics liking it, it's an independent movie, mm-hmm. it's low budget, and it's kind of like, ooh, it makes you think, and it's, and it's not like Vampire's Bank. So I think they're like, oh my god, I feel smart giving this a, uh, giving this a pass. You'll, you'll come out of this more enlightened. Yeah. It really makes me think deeply about my faith, or blah, 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 whatever. whatever it really makes me think deeply. I mean, it did. It did. It did generate a lot of it dialogue is. and discourse. It, again, it's mostly because of the end scene that's not resolved, which maybe she never died goes into it. No. So. Um, oh, no, I've never seen it. It's like a sequel, rather than a sequel. Whereas it is. It's a, about Jillian. It's another movie taking place in the same universe. Okay. So, like, you can take pretty much everything about he never died and just kind of like have never watched it. And instead have just watched She Never Died. And it's about someone else doing some other thing, but they're similar to the way Kane was. Okay. Is it and it's is... not as good, oh, okay. but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. I don't dislike the movie. I just kind of like... 
the other movie was more fun. And this one, they're trying to like build out things a little bit. And I'm kind of like, I don't know why you're bringing back things from the other movie to be like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel I necessary. know what my next movie to request is going to be. I mean, technically, technically it would fit. Yeah, well. Well, thanks, guys and gals. Thanks for coming and watching uh, your old buddy Lance and your old buddy Nick and your old buddy Amber suss out another movie, talk about it. Well, don't forget the, the most important question. Oh. Does it suck? Oh. That's the, the most important. This is where we uh, give colorful language about whether we like the movie or not on the scale of suck to bite. <laughs> suck means it's good. Bite means it's ass. Yeah. Um, so, Nick, does it suck? I think it uh, tears out your throat. And that kind of gives it a little nibble. Does that mean it sucks? It's, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not top tier. But I, I, I enjoy this movie. As the co sort of non-traditional vampire movie. You're going into it watching like, how is it as a vampire movie? Mm. It's not very good as a vampire movie. How is it as a movie? It's, it's, I like it. Okay. Amber, does it suck? It licks the blood off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Socks <laughs> it with a sponge. Spray it, spray it. <laughs> Okay. It wants to suck so hard. <laughs> I think this movie sucks. Yeah, yeah I, sucks I, the fingers. Yes, yeah. sucks, <laughs> sucks the mirror out of the fingers. Yeah, I think I think I think this movie was just. It's I like it. It's it was un, an unexpected. I, I saved treat. the finger one for you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> use the use yeah. the finger bonus to straw. Yeah, I think this movie was an unexpected treat. Mm -hmm. um, I think Henry Rollins was fantastic in it. Mm -hmm. I think that he's a, an interesting guy. I think he's a decent actor. Um, and he's a liar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, Black Flag. Oh, man, those were the days. Um, but yeah, thanks for yeah. coming and watching our video. We, we've been noticed we've been having a very small uptick in people. Some of our videos have been averaging anywhere between 13 to like 20, 25 views. So someone out there is watching it. Um, I know she's one of them. Yeah. Um, and uh, I guess let us, let us know what you're the most interested in. Yeah. Like, thank you. Because otherwise we're going based on views. No, I mean, we love doing this. We're going to continue doing this anyway. This is for us. Yeah, we're, this is totally for, for us. This is just something we like doing. I don't know like why here. For him? She drifts in every now and then. We're, we're like, we're, <laughs> she said, we, well, I mean, in reality, we were like, oh, we're going to do like movies where we, do, we talk about vampire movies. And Amber's like, I'm in. Yeah, so. that's right. We, we kind of like, hey, like, Amber, we're going to do vampire movies. I will are do you, vampire. Are you, are you in or are you out? I will do vampires <laughs> and select movies to pick. Like vampires, yes. Select other viewings of movies and or series based on how I'm feeling at the time. There's a lot of stuff that they have watched that I have also watched, but it's been recorded at a time where I'm like, I am too tired and I have a toddler, so her, I'm going to bed. Her widow <laughs> battle is well out and she goes I to bed. I turned into a pumpkin. Yeah. But seriously. It's, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, there's definitely a lot of, you know, I don't know, letting us subject each other to movies that I don't know, I don't feel comfortable making you watch awful stuff. <laughs> You've got your time is precious. You're up at like five o'clock in the morning with kids. Me too. Oh, you're fine. You can do, you can deal with that. Oh, fuck. You, you have you're... me to take care of the kid for you. Amber goes to work. You're she fine. goes. Tappity, 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 tappity. You're tappity, tappity. And then I'm like pushing shit across campus. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, God. Watch this movie. <laughs> I've I've watched some of the crap that you present his way, and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's none of it's been too inflammatory no, we, yet. We've, we've not. We've not. Been like, well, I caught enough of Alone in the Dark the second time. That was not Nick. That yeah. was fucking Tim. <laughs> and I know it was Tim. So the worst part was I came over to record it, and he was still watching it. So I had to sit down and watch half of the movie. <laughs> yeah, he did. So that he could be ready to record it. Yeah, he did. So I watched it one and a half times that week, Tim. Yeah, well, I mean, it, that was... Yeah, Tim's been laughing about that so much. That's, that was his fucking... Count, that was his counter-strike. I know it was his counter-strike. Good job, sir. And you even launched a new series where it was just like, Tim made the request for us to watch Alone in the Dark. Yeah, where does that okay. fit? Where does that fit in the hierarchy of the movies that we do? Let's just make a new one but with new requests. And it just seemed very fitting to call it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. For that fucking movie, so... Um, but no, uh, again, um, we're not going to take much more of your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We don't know who you are. Please comment below. Like, uh, refer us to your friends if you want to. Um, we're you mean you can make a request for a vampire movie and one of us might select it. Yeah. 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 I mean, give us more ideas for vampire movies because, I mean, he never died unless you were like, I watched that movie and it's a vampire movie. It doesn't show up. And I don't know if, how many of the lists it shows up. It flies under the radar but of a lot of give stuff. Us, give us some, like, flies under the radar movies, but also give us some of the, like, 
the top ones. Like I'm, I, I, I know, I'm pretty I know sure I know what's around. coming next month. I, I think I, I think I have a feeling I know what it is too. Wait, the who's, one, the who's, one you've been kicking? It's Amber Stern. Is it? The one she's been kicking around for a long time that's kind of not never pulled the trigger on. I want some more. Toast? No. I don't know that is. Yeah. Are you going to do an interview? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Give, 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 it time to, give it time to cook. We're going to want Monster Squad. Could be. Wolfman's Wolf Wolf got, got nards. Yeah. Well, anyways, thanks again. Right. Thank you for watching us. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.